In this video, I'm going to show you the do's and don'ts coloring your anime drawings. So let's get into it. Most of the beginner do this, even me when I'm just starting out. Lack of planning with your drawing will give you unwanted results. Plan first the color that you are going to use before start coloring. I usually choose first the colors that I'm going to use and try it to the scratch paper before starting coloring. It saves me a lot of time and also prevent me from color mistakes. Letting the eyes with less detail. Always give some time to work with the eyes. And I'm also doing some color layering with it. And leave the circle eye reflection just a blank white. And don't forget to put some gray tones for the shadow of the upper eyelid. And it will give you a glassy look in your eye drawing when i'm just starting out with alcohol markers i'm also struggling with it over inking that causes much when coloring a small surface let the first layer dry before you proceed with the next layer to avoid over inking like this using one color to your drawing use at least three or more layers of color will give you a semi-realistic result for your drawing and that's what i'm always doing Working in different area at the same time. Focus first with one area so that you will not forget any details coloring your drawing. Coloring in different direction will give you a messy, unlikely result like this. Focus shading in one direction until you color the entire surface. And for me, I usually start coloring the edge in just one direction until I finish the entire surface. And the result is pretty even and smooth.
coloring the entire hair with dark color. I always do layering for the hair and leave the hair reflection just a blank white and it gives me a very nice shiny hair for my anime drawing. Finally, we are done. So enjoy the final reveal, brothers and sisters. <laughs>